Ladies and gentlemen, American Jerry and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. If you've never tuned in before, what I do is a rapid fire report on all the national news that you care about with a little quirky comments that I might make along the way. YouTube, Facebook, and Reddit are going to be allowed, according to a district judge, federal lower level judge, allowed to be sued for radicalizing this kid right here, the mass shooter. We'll see where it goes. All right, Bush, the guy that apparently from Ohio wanted to recruit ISIS members in here to assassinate George Bush, was sentenced. He only gets 14 years. You believe that? You only get 14 years for conspiring to kill a former president of the United States? I don't understand it. Hey, Joanne's, a fabric store that I know my wife went to oftentimes out in Florence, are closing. Sad to see. About 800 stores. Mackenzie Scott has given away double. This is Bezos X, like $600 plus million dollars, is giving away more money uh, than, you know, humanly possible. The only problem is where is she giving it to? I've seen a lot of these charities they're okay. Musk has been critical of who she's giving it to. Hey, McKenzie, I got an idea. Donate to the Durrani Litigation Fund. Auto loans. More and more Americans are getting behind, upside down on auto loans as used cars values go down. I think this happened once before. Bernie Marino won the Ohio Senate race thanks to the Trump endorsement, and he heaped nothing but praise on Trump uh, after the election. There was a shooting at the Arkansas airport the Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton Arkansas airport and the director of the airport got shot. I don't know who they were serving the warrant on. I think he got shot in a crossfire or something. Crazy. All right. Illegals. According to a district court ruling, this is funny. An illegal immigrant can carry a firearm. They go all the way back to the revolutionary war uh, for the, for the logic and reasoning. Here's my point about this. My point is, just think about it, how we citizens with the Second Amendment get our rights restricted, but an illegal immigrant, carry that gun, buddy. All right, McCarthy, by the way, there's rumors he might be the next chief of staff of Donald Trump, but there was an election last night for his seat, and I forgot who, I'll report tomorrow who won. All right, Texas border, they won a huge decision in the United States Supreme Court. United States Supreme Court is letting Texas defend its border. It's unbelievable. Texas is having to do what Biden refuses to. Tyson, you ready for these scumbags? They want to get their illegal immigrant hires up to 80,000 people. They're laying off regular Joe Blow Americans and Janes who work there that need that job and laying them off and hiring illegal immigrants because it's cheaper. They need the Bud Light treatment. Uh, Trump swept all the states yesterday. I think it was Florida, Ohio, Illinois. I'm for missing one. All right. The king is apparently not doing very good. Cancer is apparently much worse than you could expect. Remember what I said? The curse of being named a Charles. Yeah. Charles the first lost his head. Charles the two, miserable life. Charles the third, Finally becomes king, craving it so bad, stricken with cancer. And he looks awful. All right. Generals testified yesterday in Congress, and they basically threw Biden under the bus. Well, they were the generals. Vivek Ramaswamy, according to Trump, will not be his VP choice. Subway can't make it up. Skyline, Gold Star, shift to Go Coke. Subway. Shifting to Pepsi from Coke. Soft drink wars. <laughs> Bitcoin crashed. Why? Somebody sold $50 million of it. Unilever laying off thousands of workers and going to dump Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Let's buy it and make it non-woke. All right, great assets. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Trump goes on a rant not being able to post his bond. And he goes, I got great assets. I got great assets. <laughs> He wants everybody to know he's got great assets. Hey, President, we get why you can't post a bond. It has nothing to do with net worth or anything. It has to do with coming up with $500 million in cash. Totally different. All right, wages. They are declining. By the way, I read something on the way here. You can't make this up. That Americans have to make, it's costing Americans 80% more to live since 2020. 
So if you didn't if you didn't get an increase in the last four years of 80% of your wages, you're going backwards. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a navish, dull-eyed clod. Navish, dull-eyed clod. Shakespeare and salt of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. Well, Drees apparently has got the uh, front line dibs into the IRS Development Center down in Covington. That's that big area. They tore down that big, long, skinny building out on 4th Street. And they tore it all down. There's grass there now. And they want to develop it. It looks like Drees, and that's the carriage home. Going to have homes, businesses, all kinds of neat stuff right there. Okay, in Ohio news, the big election results. Uh, the big one was Marino beat Matt Dolan 50 to 33. Frank LaRose only got 13% of the, uh, the seats. Um, all the other, all the other races I'm not going to be worried about. Supreme Court I want to cover. Uh, the Supreme Court is Forbes 68%, Jameson 36%. This is the Democrat who will run, uh, for the open seat in the state of Ohio. So they're going to keep this seat. Folks, I'm telling you, if you care about people in the state of Ohio, you want to elect the Democrats to the Supreme Court. As somebody who fights for the little guy, the Republicans on the Ohio Supreme Court are bought and paid for by corporate health care. I'm just telling you, they are. You want justice, you vote for Forbes. And you vote for Donnelly, who's sitting there. The Durante victims would be up a creek without Dolly there. All right. David Taylor won the big congressional. He's the concrete man. He won uh, the congressional seat, Brad Winstrup. Hamilton mayor, the police chief, is going to become the city manager of Hamilton. How do you like that? There is uh, some discussion afloat to expunge all low-level uh, criminal cases in Cincinnati. Why? Because employers don't like it. In North College Hill, the top city administrator... Uh, has um, resigned. Jennifer Ecke resigned effective March 27th. Oh, Diane Mullins beat incumbent Representative Sarah Carruthers, too. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Do not be a navish, dull eyed clod. Hello again. You're watching Eric Dieter's World News. This is Jamie Spinley with today's latest stories. Approximately 9,000 children have been evacuated from Belograd, Russia, and surrounding areas following shelling blamed on Ukraine. Governor Gladkov reported casualties and power outages, with recent strikes escalating tensions in the region. Former officers Hunter Elwood and Jeffrey Middleton have been sentenced to a combined 37 years in prison for torturing two black men in Mississippi. The victims endured beating, stun gun shocks, and sexual assault. In other news, American pilot Lawrence Russell has been sentenced to 10 months in jail after being caught over the alcohol limit before flying from Scotland, Edinburgh to New York City. Security officers found him in with two bottles of Jägermeister, one of which was half full. A breath test revealed it was more than twice the legal alcohol limit for pilots. Eight sailors have tragically lost their lives after a South Korean flag tanker overturned off Japan's west coast. Japan's Coast Guard reported one survivor in non-life-threatening condition, with two individuals still missing. The incident has prompted concerns over maritime safety. And Finland has retained its title as the world's happiest country for the seventh year in a row, according to the annual World Happiness Report. Nordic neighbors Sweden, Denmark and Iceland also main positions in the top 10. The US falls out of the top 20. I hope you all have a happy day. Until tomorrow, cheerio. Ladies and gentlemen, American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to Sports of Our Boundaries. Xavier lost to Georgia. Wagner beat Howard in the NIT. Wagner beat Howard 71 to 68 to advance to the Sweet 16. Gets to play, I think, Houston. Colorado State beat Virginia 67 to 42. Shame on Virginia. Ryan Day now has the former center of Alabama that kept hiking the ball on the ground. 
Now he's going to Ohio State. I hope Ohio State loses a game when the center hikes the ball on the ground. Uh, Caden Proctor, transferred from Alabama to Iowa, is transferring back to Alabama. Mike Williams was signed by the New York Jets. Hell of a wide receiver for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Clemson and Florida State University went out of the ACC. That's the beginning of the end of the ACC. Trent Irvin, the Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver, signed to a one-year contract. Coltsaw, former NHL player, jumped from a balcony to his death. Hannah Storm announced that she's got cancer. Hannah Storm being the ESPN announcer. And there's two little new little girls in the world, Bengals players. The Bengals kicker and uh, Logan Wilson, the linebacker, their wives both gave birth to little girls the same day. Congratulations. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, American Church Bulldog Nation, welcome to Eric Dieter's Pop Culture. This guy died when a sinkhole in Florida, where his room was, just went whoosh. And his brother tried to rescue him, dove down in a hole, could hear him. Do you believe that? Sucked up by a sinkhole. Maybe this is how the aliens are going to get us. Aaron Taylor Johnson's been offered the job as James Bond, and he's saying no. He doesn't want to be doing one Bond after the other. Good. You know who ought to be Bond? Just thought of this. Let uh, Charlie Hoonan be Bond. Jason Statham. Jason Statham would be a great Bond. All right. This is our lead pop culture story day. You can't make it up. My signature line. Disney is going to start charging $2 for you to use their garbage cans. <laughs> I have some garbage where I bought some food from you and I now would like to throw it away. That'll be two bucks. Corporate America, you, you combine this like with what Tyson is doing, hiring all the illegals. People wonder why people hate corporate America. And by the way, corporate America buys both political parties, folks, both. Somebody on staff tried to hack into Kate's medical records. Uh-oh. Why don't they just leave Kate alone? By the way, President Trump has joined me in saying, what's the big deal about this picture? I got your back, Kate. Kate's a doll. All right, Jonathan Glazier. Under attack for his remarks at the Oscars. Political, political, political. All the Jews in Hollywood weren't happy about it. <laughs> this is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.